you know, as I'm looking at this, and I'm going to clip this and, uh, and whatnot, but as I'm looking at this, right, you, you mostly have right here, Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer. Most people going to play that. You have DMZ. Most people going to play that. You have Warzone 2.0 Battle Royale. But what I don't see, right, and this is what blows me, because this was, to me, what saved Black Ops Cold War. Zombies saved Black Ops Cold War. We don't need zombies, because there's still a bunch of people who believe that zombies is coming. I don't. We don't need zombies. What I would like to see is a very simple extinction, 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 extinction. I can't speak properly. Extinction. extinction. If you don't know, right? It's some may, some don't. Extinction was in Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts was known as that bad COD. But now that 2019 and all these other CODs come, a lot of people are like, well, it wasn't that bad. Because, uh, most because matchmaking, you know, they, they, can find, they can find them noobs, you know. Oh, any kind of it was not that bad compared to uh, 2019. That's, 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 that's the worst one possible. Yeah, we all know how that goes. But anyway, I, I mean, I'm, I, I complain about the matchmaking still. My point is, you got us dealing with these bots and realism, but, uh, COD ain't about realism, you know. Like, you can look... I, I, I. Chinese do your guns. You got this sticker bundle. Like, bro. Come on now. This, this, this is realism. These guns. These guns and these bundles are realism. Come on now. And we all know how that's going to go. Because it did the same thing with Modern Warfare. Uh, with Warzone 1.0. Going to bring it in. One point are gonna be tight. Next card come come in. Cold War? That realism going out the window. So this to me, what they should have done. Me personally, I like the multiplayer. The multiplayer is tight, it's good, I like it. It's good to me. DMZ and all that, I don't really care much for DMZ. It feels out the way. You could have had an extinction for DMZ. Or better yet, could have just expanded more on the whole co-op thing and gave people more AD reason to do co-op. You're doing DMZ. I feel as if that, again, should be co-op. But I think co-op was their little testing grounds for DMZ. Now that I'm thinking about it. And then you got Warzone 2.0. And Season 2 will be having a bunch of those changes to where it'll be more like 1.0 with similar things here and there. With 1v1 Gulag and all that. My, my case here is still with the point of extinction. You could have had a whole side storyline. Because the campaign is what? Six hours? Probably eight? It, you could have had extinction. Had that be its own story. Mention it a little bit in the campaign. Be like, hey, the next mission... They're going to some place that has some weird findings. People are seeing, you know, they're popping up, they're disappearing. They're seeing something about weird creatures. Next campaign come around, if you're going to do that, you could be like, oh, that was nothing, you know. It was strange, but uh, that was nothing. But we still got other things to handle. They'll make small little references here and there towards it, but uh, towards, towards the extinction. But really, the extinction will have its own play thing, and, uh, the, and then they'll play around that. That, to me, would be the best way to handle extension if I had the opportunity to do all this and if they did bring it back Why do they still have these here? Legacy. Y'all still trying to sell these? Why? You you nerfed Warzone 1 by getting rid of uh, Rebirth specifically for Warzone 2.0. I 
I don't understand that. You got Modern Warfare 2 19. Okay. Good game. I like that. Cold War. Campaign? Alright. Vanguard. I don't know, man. I don't know. It to me, extinction, extinction was was so unused. Extinction was and had the opportunity to be something great akin to zombies, right? Because zombies is zombies. We know that. And with this whole restart, you know, I, I played a lot of zombies in Cold War. A lot of, I loved Outbreak. I loved uh, the round based modes. I loved all that. I, 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 mm, mm, I loved it. It was perfect. Perfect. In every sense of the word, it was perfect. But, um, DMZ, co op, fighting bots. They got Aimbot and Armor. I don't know, man. Such a lacking of creativity, you know? Such a lacking. You're, be you're beating this terrorist organization as you always do on Call of Duty. Okay, and... And... Have we forgotten Extinction? Can we get that back into that action? Because a lot of people are calling for uh, Call of Duty to get back to maybe some advanced movement. You know, we've been on boots on the ground a little too long. A little too long. You know, when, when, did we, when did we get back on boots on the ground? It was what? Warzone, wait, wait, no. World War Two, Black Ops 4, Night 2019, Cold War, Vanguard, and here. World War Two, Black Ops 4, 2019, Cold War, Vanguard. Five years, and counting this six. Counting the next card, because we heard that that's going to be some DLC. Technically seven. I'm not playing Black Ops 3. But, uh... We need, we need some extinction, man. Some, something different. It's too formulaic. Let's try some extinction. Let's try some new stuff. You have all these new... You have all these buildings, right? All these surroundings. Wouldn't it have been cool? If extinction had its own story, right? Because that's the thing about Call of Duty. Call of Duty. All right? Call of Duty. Every year. Campaign. It's going to be. You got to fight the enemy guy. Here's the story. Yeah, the story is going to be a little bit different. But at the end of the day, you're fighting an, you're fighting a human enemy. Nine times out of ten. But, and this is what I would do. One year. I would release. Yes, you keep the multiplayer the same. But everything else, zombies, 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 the whole nine yards, from top to bottom, Put that, 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 shut your mouth, and hear what I have to say first, the campaign would deal with you surviving the zombie apocalypse properly, Black Ops 3, make reference to this, Black Ops 3 did it, it was like its own story. And I think that's what a lot of people want. I think they want a Black Ops 3. It could be boosting the ground. It could be Advanced Warfare. It don't matter. But Black Ops 3 campaign for when you were fighting like the regular people was confusing. They didn't know what was going on. You got, you're got dealing with this gang that's doing all kind of other stuff. Then you were part of the CIA. And then you're part of some other country. And now you're fighting some mind virus. And then it turns around that these are actually zombies. And... Because of uh, some, you know, you see the truth when you uh, do the, the nightmare thing, I think it was called. It was basically the zombies version of the campaign. What, where's the passion? What's the ground for it? That, 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 was imp that was impressive. This, this here, this whole, this whole mess here. Well, it's not a mess, right? The multiplayer, again, I like the multiplayer. Multiplayer is good. I like the multiplayer. But, the matchmaking, again, we all know how that goes. Extinction. 
could you, you could you could have extinction. Come on now, let's do some extinction. I get it. It was it was a nice try. It didn't work out the first time. Let's try it again. Because remember, back then, I'm sorry for that. That was my phone. Back then, Call of Duty was paid DLC. Now it's free DLC. And because of that, a lot of people have come into the community. But with these DMZ bots, it's like there's nothing redeeming about it. Let's say, first of all, okay, the campaign is cool, but you can, you can only play the campaign so much. Then it comes to the multiplayer and it's sweaty. You don't want to play it. And then you have... Then you're dealing, right? You're 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 dealing. You're dealing with bots, right? That there's ADS on you, and just they're just destroying you. You you getting all over the place. You just can't make it. You can't survive. It it it. it try. Let's try some new things, okay? Call of Duty is always fight the enemy team, fight zombies. Now we have battle royale. That's cool. Cool and all. You don't got to the Battle Royale phase. Are we going to do anything different? You don't even have to put it along with this card, right? This something that I'm going to peep you on. Normally, right, a lot of people say that uh, Call of Duty has a tendency to peak up October because it make all their billions. And then it goes down for a while. It goes down, it crashes down, it burns the player numbers and whatnot. And then you have the YouTubers coming out. Oh my God, the numbers! What are they gonna do? And no, let's let's not let's not do this, okay? Activision, if or or Microsoft, whenever you see this, and whoever owns it by now, halfway in the year, I think you should release two games, okay? Let's make some other studio or some more studios to really work on this, because we always have Call of Duty every year, and they have this uh. These, enough time to work on the cards so that way they can make it as perfect as possible, right? Give the cards some time about two, three years enough to make sure it's a good enough story, have good enough content, have good enough uh, DLC, all that stuff, okay? Where normally around the time when Call of Duty drops off, release another Call of Duty, not a PvP type of aspect, but more of the extinction right well, again i know you're talking about well why extinction anything okay i'm using extinction as a placeholder anything anything because after a while after a while this this gets boring i did it for the atomic challenge and now that atomic's not here and this matchmaker is beating bashing my head in over and over and over and over and over again I'm getting sick and tired of it. I really am. I don't. I don't. I don't know what to say. It's very, very disappointing, in a sense. Especially the matchmaking. I know they sent that to Demonware, and I can't help but talk about it, cause it's it's such a reason why this game is just <clears throat> sometimes. Cause especially if you're watching the stream with me, you you know I'm getting my head bashed in right now. I streamed, I think, last week for sure, right? Probably three, three to four days ago. I avoided this. Avoided it. This whole thing here, avoided it. Because I know the second I come back, It is unforgiving. You have to take your punishment if you want the good time. Which I understand that 50 50. But god dang, you don't even feel like 50 50 no more. I feel like 80 20. 90 10. Everybody else clapped me before I do anything. Oh, you're trash. You're just doo doo. Shut up. You know what you're know, talking about. You know exactly. You know exactly that you feel feeling the same thing. You, you know, good and well, you're feeling the same way. It gets tiring after a while. Because when I have a good time, 
other people complain. When they have a good time, I'm going to complain. Ain't nobody going to be happy about this, but we all can agree on the matchmaking is, is a problem. There's nothing to do with the campaign no more. It's, it's, it's done. It's boring. You're not giving me... You gave me a bang for a buck, but for six hours, kind of... It was exciting. It was definitely Call of Duty. But this was... And DMZ? The only reason... The only reason... I am playing DMZ... Is so I can unlock guns. Because some guns are more overpowered than others. In 2019, you had to get a certain amount of kills or doing a certain thing to get a certain amount of kills in order to get the gun. Now, now, hey, you see this radiation area over here with this chemist? And hey, you'll die if you don't put on a gas mask. Why don't you go over there? Why don't you kill him? Why don't you get the gas mask? Why there's still a bunch of other people trying to get to you? And I want you to successfully leave here with the gas mask. And if you don't do that, you ain't gonna get the gun. Oh, uh, dang. Successfully leave with his gun, right? You gotta go over here, get hit, kill him, get his thing, successfully leave with his gun. If you want the gun. Or, you can buy the bundle. And you can play with the bundles and do all type of other things, but it's still gonna be locked because you gotta unlock it. <laughs>